Hi there in this video, I'm going to show you some simple home remedies that you can use to be stings. These remedies are all natural and easy to follow, so stick around and I'll show them to you right now. Bees are cute and important to our environment, but nothing can spoil a wonderful summer day like a bee sting. My youngster is still terrified as a result of his encounter with a wasp last summer. Those yellow jackets are the absolute worst. Bee stings can be excruciatingly painful, and they can cause serious allergic reactions in certain people. If you're like me, you might need a refresher on what to do if you or your child is stung by a bee or other similar insect stings. Home Remedies for Bee Stings 1. First, remove the bee stinger from the sting site to prevent the venom from spreading. Scrape it out with your fingernail or a flat object, such as the edge of a credit card, rather than tweezers. 2. Then, using soap and water, clean the affected area. 3. Next, apply a cold pack or ice to the sting spot. The ice pack will help with swelling. 4. Look for calamine lotion to alleviate itching and swelling after that. 5. Finally, think about using an antihistamine cream and or pain reliever prescription. After treating the bee sting, keep an eye out for signs of a severe allergic reaction, such as trouble breathing, which can emerge in as little as 15 minutes. Be extra cautious about stings to the mouth, throat, nose, and ears. Seek emergency medical assistance if you see symptoms of an allergic reaction. Bee Sting Natural Home Remedies One of the home cures described below can also help your youngster feel better. They lack scientific support, but they appear to work for some people, and it doesn't hurt to try. Toothpaste who knew that your toothpaste might be used to treat a bee sting? It is thought that the toothpaste will neutralize the acid in the bee venom. Apply it straight to the sting location. 2. Parsley, freshly crushed. Freshly crushed parsley, like toothpaste, helps counteract the acid in bee venom. 3. Onion. This home cure will assist to remove the toxins from the bee stung and avoid illness. Simply treat the bee sting with a raw onion slice. 3. Potato Peeled Apply a crushed peeled potato to the affected area to relieve inflammation. 4. Straight Lemon Juice Itching caused by a bee sting can be relieved by applying basic lemon juice. 5. A paste of baking soda and vinegar. A thick paste of baking soda and vinegar, similar to lemon juice, will help reduce itching from a bee sting. Another substance that is claimed to neutralize bee venom and alleviate pain is apple cider vinegar. Soak the affected area in apple cider vinegar or treat it with a moist towel. Is toothpaste effective against bee stings? Yes, toothpaste appears to help some individuals treat bee stings, and it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. It is thought that the toothpaste will neutralize the acid in the bee venom. Apply it straight to the sting location. Is onion useful for bee stings? Yes, onion appears to help some individuals treat bee stings, and it doesn't hurt to try. This home cure will assist to remove the toxins from the bee stung and avoid illness. Simply treat the bee sting with a raw onion slice. Is baking soda effective against bee stings? Yes, baking soda appears to help some individuals with bee stings, and it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. A thick paste of baking soda and vinegar, similar to lemon juice, will help reduce itching from a bee sting. Is apple cider vinegar effective for bee stings? Yes. Apple cider vinegar appears to help some individuals treat bee stings, and it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. 
Another substance that is claimed to neutralize bee venom and alleviate pain is apple cider vinegar. Soak the affected area in apple cider vinegar or treat it with a moist towel. Lip swelling caused by a bee sting. A bee or wasp sting can be painful, resulting in inflamed, burning, swollen, or itching skin. Fortunately, you do not have to endure the agony. There are numerous things you can do to alleviate the burning and swelling. Some products can be purchased at a store, while others are likely to be found in your home. Here are some home cures to try the next time you get stung by a bee or wasp. Mud. If you are stung while camping, hiking, or fishing, you may not have many options. This does not preclude you from treating a bee or wasp sting. Mud can help ease some of the itching and agony caused by these stings. Simply combine dirt and water to create a paste-like consistency. Then, apply the mud on the sting. When you go home, thoroughly clean and rinse the area to avoid infection. Tenderizer for meat. Meat tenderizer is an excellent treatment for bee and wasp stings. This aids in the breakdown of the protein in the venom, thereby alleviating the symptoms associated with these stings. It can also help break down a stinger caught in your flesh. So if you detect this, use this procedure. To make a paste, combine four parts meat tenderizer and one part water. Allow a liberal layer to dry over the affected region. For optimal results, reapply every two to three hours. Meat tenderizer can also be used to treat mosquito and spider bites, so keep that in mind if you are bitten by one of these pests in the future. Toothpaste Apply a thin layer of toothpaste to the injured area if your bee or wasp sting is itchy. This should be paste toothpaste, not gel toothpaste. This produces a tingly sensation on your arm, satisfying your desire to scratch the area while also lessening irritation. To keep symptoms at bay, rinse and reapply the toothpaste every few hours.